Hey everybody, it's Brian for JailbreakZone.com and today I'll be giving you a quick look at macOS 10.7 Lion. Now I'm going to be going through some of the new features and what some of the stock applications look like because some of them are changed and some of the changes that I've seen so far are pretty cool. So this is a clean install of macOS 10.7 Lion. If you'd like to get your hand on a copy of the preview for developers, you can go over to jailbreakzone.com and there should be a .torrent file where you can download this for free and try it out yourself without actually being a developer. So when you first get to your desktop, um, let me change some of the settings back a little bit, you don't have access to this. So this is what your desktop looks like. I usually like to have the hard disks and the connected servers show up on my desktop. So first I'm going to be showing you Launchpad. Now this is sort of the home screen style setup that you can have for your applications. You can see here that we have a folder similar to iOS. Apple's goal with Lion is to sort of bring a lot of the more popular features from iOS over to um, Mac OS X. So I'm going to go ahead and click and hold on this icon. You can move it around if you'd like. You could hover it on top of another application if you'd like to create a folder. Or you could move it over here to a second page. Then you could use two fingers on your trackpad to move between the pages. So that's pretty cool. Then you could just tap on it if you'd like to open the program. Now you could use four or five fingers to access Launchpad. So if you take your fingers and sort of bring them in together, it will bring Launchpad in. If you use the same fingers to sort of pinch outwards, then it will go away. And by the way, this is the default wallpaper in Lion, it seems. It's Mount Fuji. So let me bring, oops, let me bring my applications back. Okay, it looks like we just saw a bug because it didn't actually blur the background and it did not get rid of the status bar like it's supposed to. And for some reason my dock is hiding even though I never set it to do that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and move this application back to where it was, which was right there. And then just like iOS, you could rename your folders by just tapping on it. So instead of utilities, we could just call this whatever. And you've just changed the label of the folder. Then you could do the same thing with applications, I believe. Nope, you'd have to actually change the actual name of the app itself. But like I mentioned earlier, you could create folders by just dragging and leaving an application on top of another one. You could just drag it out to remove that. And then you have to remove the last one to get rid of the folder. So that is Launchpad. Now I'm actually going to go to over to System Preferences so I can show you some of the new options under Trackpad. There are some new options for three and four fingers. You could use three fingers to swipe for mission control. So if you swipe up, this is mission control. It's where you can access dashboard, your desktop, your full screen applications, which I'll show you in the next video, and your currently running programs, as well as your dock. And there are a few other options. You could use it for dragging stuff. You could use it for navigating web pages. You can also use four fingers for the same thing. You can swipe left to right with three or four fingers to switch between your desktop, your full screen applications, and your dashboard. <clears throat> and then here it's just saying that you could use four fingers to pinch for la uh, launch pad or to use the, uh, or you could show your desktop like this. Same thing happens when you use five fingers as well. So. Maybe they will change the labeling of these. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I've already shown you Launchpad and Mission Control. Um, let me show you a full screen application. So here I'm going to open this PDF file in Preview. And you can see up in the upper left corner that we have this little icon here. Clicking on that will take us to full screen view. And if this document had multiple pages, we could uh, swipe between the pages and things like that. You could select uh, text if we'd like or images, we could copy them. You can also still access your status bar as well as your top bar here, as well as your dock. So let's go ahead and quit out of preview. And I believe that if you tap or if you click on this green button here, okay, that just 
moves it over a little bit. So I thought that that would also make it go into full screen, but never mind. Um, that's going to be it for this video. I'm going to make a few other videos showing you some of the new stuff. Uh, there are a considerable number of other things to show you guys, so I'll just split it up into separate videos. So thanks a lot for watching this video. If you Once again, if you'd like to get your hands on a copy of this preview edition of Mac OS 10.7 Lion, just head on over to jailbreakzone.com or click on the link down below in the description and it will take you to a torrent file and that's where you can download Lion. Now I was trying to get this to work in a virtual machine inside of Windows 7 but for whatever reason I just cannot get it to boot after I get it installed. Um, I think it's just the way it's currently made. Maybe we might find a custom kernel that sort of allows it to boot on stuff other than Macs, which includes PCs for Hackintoshing and OS X 86 stuff or virtual machines. So that's about it with this video. You can leave your comments, questions, or suggestions down below, but that's it. So see you guys later.